Welcome everybody to Filmora 11 and the new feature Auto Montage Maker. Let's get started. Go ahead and drop your footage into a folder under Project Media. As always, I like to rename the folder to whatever I'm doing. Walk to Lake, because that's what this is. And before you do the auto montage, you want to make sure these are the clips that you really want in the montage. So you need to go through them. And I purposely put a few in here that I don't want so I could show you. So you just want to check them out. So this was a lot of zooming around. That's not going to work too good in a montage. So I'm just going to delete it. What else do we have I don't want? Nah, I got some building shots. I don't want those. So I'll take those out. Let's see. That's a really bad zoom in. That's going to look terrible. Let's take that out. And I think everything else is going to look pretty good. Let's do a quick... Okay, so that isn't even a walk to the lake. So we're just going to take that out. I think everything else is going to look nice. Do a quick search. Make sure it's all me going to a lake. And uh, that one is kind of on the ground. Let's get rid of that one. And this is just to make your life easier after the montage if you want to edit. Uh, you want to just go ahead and get what you can out now. Because auto montage, uh, which is a new feature of Filmora 11, does something a little different with your audio. Uh, it doesn't really put the beat, like your, your normal beat detection, it does every one beat, two beat, four beat, etc. This um, skips five beats, for example, and then syncs a clip to that. So it makes it a little harder to edit after the fact. So it's best to just go ahead and clean your footage up ahead of time. And that's it. So now go ahead and grab all of your footage. Right click and choose Auto Montage Maker. It's going to take us to another screen. But you can move around. You can make the screen bigger if you want. We'll just put it back to the default. And here you've got some drop downs. The first is Auto Highlight. If you said, oops, I forgot one, you can add one here. You can delete them here. And we need to pick a light. So you got 15 seconds, I guess, for TikTok. Uh, you can do 30 seconds. Let's do a 60 second for a YouTube short. Okay. It also tells you the max length. Okay. Just keeps you in order there. This is your beat sync. You can change the music. I'm going to use the default for this example. And you can change the beat cut. Let's make it fast. Now that's really fast. That's pretty fast, medium, and then you can make it slow. I'm going to put it right there for you. And then there's some effects that you can uh, put in, and it will automatically put these in. And what these dots mean is how many of the effects it will put in and about the position. So let's say we choose um, RGB, and we put it, uh, let's just put it all the way to the end. It's going to give us four places for RGB. That's red, green, blue. It's like a, a blur effect. Uh, I don't want any of these effects in mind. We can always add effects later. Let's go ahead and choose Analysis and Preview. And based on your CPU and the intensity of the clips, uh, were they 4K, were they 1080p, how many clips were there, uh, this could take quite a bit of time. Uh, so just be patient here. When it's finished, it'll auto start for you, and you can preview it. So I see some things in there that I'd like to change. And you can hear me speaking in the background, so we're going to do some muting. Okay, outstanding. That's going to make a really nice 60 second YouTube short. Let's go ahead and export to the timeline now. 
and we can really see what's going on and dig down into it and manipulate it however we want. Now I would suggest that you immediately go ahead and save this as a project right now. And you can see that everything is included uh, automatically for you including the music. It's all um, put right in there in your walk to lake folder. Okay now's when you can play and here's the first thing that I usually do for a montage you want to click right here zoom to fit to timeline because you want you want to see all of it click and drag all of your video clips all of them and mute them now I've got mine preset to M for mute you can change yours however you want up here in the, your preferences so that automatically muted them all for me and then what I like to do is just kind of go look stretch it out a little more okay see these scenes here it was a little bit of a hazy day so I want to fix fix all of that so uh, under effects um, I've got some saved already we can use uh, beautiful memories is nice sunny days is, these are two of my favorites that's why they're in there let's go ahead and throw sunny days in and we'll just put sunny days across the entire video like so and we could add that uh, beautiful memories on top it gives it a nice uh, gives it a nice color and that's nice we can always double click these and uh, you know increase them see the change right there but I kinda like that uh, pinkish effect that it gives it and in the preferences for Filmora 11 I've got my processing automatic in the background so uh, I can go ahead and press this if I want but it's just gonna go for me automatically and uh, you really want to let some of the processing start before you uh, preview it again because you may not see all of your changes if you don't yeah that's good colors good colors there definitely brighten things up okay now that scene right there seems a little static for me uh, so let's highlight that clip and let's think what we can do with that. Let's um, let's make it move. That's always fun. Let's do a little keyframe on it. So get right at the beginning of that clip, and let's go right here instead, and let's keyframe it. And let's go to the end of the clip. And we gotta go one frame back. There we go. And let's add a keyframe there and let's do a little scaling just very little we want to make it look kinda of like a drone shot we'll just crank it up to um, let's just go fifty percent more we'll go to 150 on it yeah it's just subtle subtle movement let's go back and look at that go ahead and let that finish rendering now it should move a little there you go so you don't really want things to sit still in a video Things should always be moving. And that is the Auto Montage Maker in Filmora 11. This is a new feature. It's uh, really good, really handy to get a quick video out, do a couple fast edits in it, and boom, go ahead and upload it to wherever you're putting it. From here, you can of course just export it, uh, resave your project. I've got mine set to save every five minutes anyway. Export it to whatever you want. And that's it for the new Filmora 11 Auto Montage Maker. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you real soon for some more Filmora 11 tutorials.